Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Listen to me. Whatever you are doing can wait. Listen to me. To this word is sharper than a two-edged sword. What did I say? What did I say? If I be a man of God, listen to me. This is a critical time. This is a what? Everyone stop whatever you are doing. Stop it. And listen to the sound of voice. I was away in the States for a while. Preaching the word of God and winning souls. For the kingdom of God. We were in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, we were there. We were in a state uh, Minnesota. We were in Minnesota. Pastor Matthew, we were in a state, uh, what was it? Pesle, we were in Pennsylvania. Winning souls for Christ. And while I was there, a word and a revelation came. Are you with me now? Are you with me now? Let God be God. Let God be God. Let God be true. And every devil a bastard. I titled this message The Spirit Behind Money. What did I say? What did I say? The Spirit Behind Money. In case you are not aware, there is a spirit sitting on top of money all around the world. Are you with me now? I want to ask you a question. How are you with money? How did you behave the last time money came into your possession? <laughs> you made small change and suddenly no one can reach you. <laughs> Everybody's call is not like disturbance to you. You are constantly hissing. Oh, everyone to you now is, is, is a puppet. Pastor calls you and asks you why you're not in church on Sunday. And you say, Pastor, you know how this thing is hard, huh? <laughs> Oswo. Oswo. You say you had a busy weekend. Suddenly you are too busy for God. May we not be too busy for God. What did I say? May we not be too busy for the family. And paraventure you are here. You have not made money, but you are already planning on the things you want to do when you make money and how you will show some people pepper. <laughs> are you with me now? Are you with me now? Let God be God. I will say this once and once it is. The primary reason for God's financial blessing upon your life is not to show someone pepper. Write it down. Did you get that? Did you get it? Stop making it your secondary and primary objective. Are you with me now? How can you say you are a believer and every time money comes into your possession, the first thing you are thinking of is who you want to tension. Who you want to pepper? You are already thinking and planning. You have a blueprint. Oswo. Oswo. A lot of canal minds. God's blessing upon your life. And instead of you to set an example. Instead of you to set the pace. Instead of you to live in accordance to the will of God. You have become a menace in the society. You are looking for who you will oppress. Forgetting that there's a source, and if that source should dry up, you're finished. You don't have a rebound. Shut up your mouth before the Holy Spirit strangle you in the bathroom when there's soap in your eyes. Oswa, Oswa. Someone will say, "But Papa, don't say money should not control me. When poverty was controlling me, where were you? When poverty did me shaky, where were you?" <laughs> Do you know what poverty did to me? <laughs> ask mama, ask mama, ask my wife. Do you know what poverty did to us? But when I, but when God came to my rescue, 
I was not interested in proving a point. I was more interested in uplifting others. Did you hear me? Ask my wife, she'll tell you. Poverty sat me down on a Saturday morning, one on one. I told me, said you, I will kill you. <laughs> you think it's a joke? Poverty sat me down, face to face, told me personally, say you, I will kill you. But I didn't give him. What did I say? What did I say? I didn't give in. And here we are today. We have a permanent side. God has been faithful and true. And yet we are still speaking the word of God. I pray God in his infinite mercy will give you the wisdom to understand wealth. Right upon your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God.